And welcome to another exciting episode of the Planetary Persuader. I am Cosmic Kev, your host. So, what are we looking at this weekend? Well, we got ourselves a moon in Scorpio. And the moon is in, um, probably like the nakshatra of Swati today, you know, which is the, the air nakshatra of the moon. So it's like a reed. It's also extremely majestic, hungry for money. <laughs> Tomasic, maybe some would say, you know, dealing with earthly works, and this is kind of like our peak of when we want to do that. But it's also a little bit fragile, like a like a swaying uh, reed. It's Vayu. So anyhow, it's Scorpio Moon, but it all loves love, you know. It loves love on this Venus day, and um, what fun things happen? Well, the Sun is out of Capricorn now, and it is in Aquarius. What? And Aquarius is the other Saturn ruled um, sign. I mean, we know we now associate the planet Uranus with it as well, but Saturn still works. Um, Saturn brings wisdom. Saturn gives you the ability to do things without a lot. You know, Saturn is about renouncing things of the world. Like the, even the trees renounce their leaves, they shed all their leaves. By winter solstice, Capricorn time. So there's this whole thing of renouncement. Now, Capricorn deals with the renouncement of Earth and those kind of practicalities, or to be more aware of how to utilize them more efficiently. Aquarius is more into concepts and knowledge and human behavior, psychology. It's key phrases I know, but it's renouncing the convention. It's like, you know, everyone's at the festival partying in the sun, and the aquarium's like, ah, look at those idiots, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> or they're like, oh my god, this is going to be the greatest party ever, we're going to do this, it's going to be amazing, you know, and they're all, you know, gaga about the whole thing. Um, it's really about fixed air, you know. You know, even though Aquarius is called the bearer of water, it's an air sign. And in Western astrology, air is what rules the nervous system. It's the female aspect of male energy. So it's essentially male, it's yang, it's air, but it's the softer part. It's not like fire, it's like, come on my face, I'll burn you, you know? <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> you know, there is a, there's a certain coldness and there's a certain detachment. And I guess if like people wanted to say what's the most unromantic sign in the zodiac, it'd probably be Aquarius. Now they'll defeat that. Oh, I'll go through all bounds and do things. But remember, most of these people have Venus and Mars in different signs. You have a different moon sign. Nobody is just one sign. But you know, Aquarius is air. It's not emotional. It's mental. It's an air trip. So uh, think about that for for now and what other fun things can we have uh, going on here not really much I mean okay so Thursday just a little bit out of after midnight Gung Hei Fat Choi new moon well you know moon goes into Aquarius but then there'll be a new moon at 4 7 p.m. next Friday and that will mark the year of the rooster so ostensibly this is the last um, part of the fire monkey which is actually the Chinese sign where the United States became a nation. Go figure, right? Okay. So, with all that said, here we go. Without any further ado, sign by sign. We're going to make this happen for you. 